On the campaign trail in South Australia, the Premier has unveiled a plan to get more women working in the space sector, while the opposition is ramping up its support for businesses. Live to Sky News reporter Joel Philp. Joel, what have the parties offered voters today? Well, Andrew, on International Women's Day, the Premier promised that a future Liberal government would double the amount of public school sector STEM scholarships available for women. Now, these are scholarships that are worth about $10,000 each, which is a fairly small-scale announcement, another one from the government from a financial perspective. He made the announcement at Fleet Space Technologies, which is a space company based here in Adelaide, that 3D prints satellites and sends them up into orbit. Take a listen to first what the Premier had to say about this, and and the CEO of the company. This uh, program is very important. Uh, more women studying sub subjects, STEM subjects at school, going to rewarding careers in areas like space going forward. Girls, come on, come study STEM, come and help us because we need the way your brain works, we need your vision, and we need your talent. In the meantime, the Labor Party has pivoted its focus towards the business community here in South Australia, announcing that if it is elected, it will overhaul government spending to increase by 5% the amount that the government spends on goods and services, uh, focusing now on local companies as opposed to interstate or international companies. And the Labor Party says this is worth about $425 million a year. The South Australian State Government procures around about $8.5 billion per annum of, lo of goods and services. We want to make sure that of those that $8.5 billion worth of expenditure from State Government, that the maximum use of it towards local businesses is provided for. Andrew Peter Malinowskis, the opposition leader, is leading in the opinion polls at the moment, and he certainly has the support of ambulance workers here in South Australia, with the Ambulance Employees Association announcing that two people died in the past 24 hours who were waiting for ambulances that were delayed. Now, a really a big pitch that the Labor Party has put to voters at the election is that they're going to spend around a billion dollars to fix the health system here in South Australia. The Liberal government, in the meantime, says that money does not need to be spent, and they are focusing on returning the state to surplus by next year. Thanks, Joel. Well, don't miss the final debate before the South Australian election. Stephen Marshall and Peter Malinowskis will take questions from undecided voters at the Sky News Advertiser People's Forum next Wednesday.